Alright guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Samsung T55 Curved Monitor. I got this monitor on my birthday, so it seems just right to review it. So when you first get the package, what you will find in the box is the power cord, the included HDMI cable, and of course, the monitor itself. Now for ports, you have one power connector, one VGA port, and one HDMI port like most monitors do, which leads us nicely into the design. Now the design looks really nice and slim. The monitor itself is thick, but that is to be expected with average curved monitors. The chassis is made of plastic, and the metal Samsung branding at the bottom makes it have that really nice premium look to it. Let's go. Above the branding is the display. Now the display is, in my opinion, really good. It is a 1080p 24 inch 75 hertz panel with support for AMD FreeSync. The screen covers 82% of the Adobe RGP color space and 99% of the sRGB XY color space, making it amazing in terms of productivity like video and photo editing and color grading. I've told you about the display, now what about the audio? For audio, you have a 5 watt stereo speaker setup. It sounds really good, especially considering it is a built in speaker inside of a monitor. There isn't a lot of bass though, but the bass is there. It sounds really good, especially considering it is a built in speaker inside of a monitor. There isn't a lot of bass though, but the bass is there. What do I think about it? It is a great monitor for the price, and especially for who it's for. I would recommend this monitor for productivity and color grading and you know essentially you know, just productivity in general. Now one thing that really bugs me is the stand. The stand cannot adjust tilt and the default tilt is actually a little bit low so the monitor is actually tilted way too low on pointing towards the desk. What I did was I put a face mask and like a normal paper towel underneath the base of the monitor and now the monitor is tilted up enough so I can see it properly. Now if you are a gamer I would honestly go with 120 Hertz or more now I like to game but I also like to edit videos so 75 Hertz is perfect enough for me now I just I really really hope you enjoyed this video if you liked the video please subscribe we did a little twist in the ending there and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video bye